All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here with the Head Rush gig board again. Uh, this time, <laughs> I got a little bit more light on the console. Um, last time, you know, the other video I did was kind of dark, but uh, I just want to let you guys know if you're interested in learning the Head Rush gig board with me, then go ahead and subscribe because I'm in the learning process too. But uh, I'm finding a lot of interesting stuff out here. Um, again, I apologize uh, for the pan issue. That's in OBS. Uh, I'm using the, the software I'm using to record the video. Um, there's a pan issue. It is not the head rush. But uh, again, if you're interested in the head rush gig board, then yeah, go ahead and subscribe to this channel because I'm going to do a lot of videos uh, on this device. Uh, as you can see, it's actually a really nice, heavy duty metal construction. Uh, I have my external foot pedal right here, uh, also connected to it, so my volume pedal, uh, which is nice because I can have that on the floor and the unit itself on the desk, like I've mentioned in the past videos. Um, let me go ahead and move myself because unfortunately the gig board does not do video. Uh, that would be me, but as you can see right here, all you have is the master volume and the push to enter switch, which you rarely even use anyways, except for the master volume. Uh, everything's touch screen. So here we are. I got the, the country, country solo patch up, which, uh, is just the compressor. We got the, uh, you know, the Ibanez, well, their version of the Tube Screamer, uh, a chorus, tape echo, and reverb. Uh, let me go ahead and turn on that Tube Screamer. You, you're probably going to get some some back noise because this, uh, my speakers are also going back into the uh, microphone. I will fix these issues uh, going forward, but I'm still learning this the, the technology side of this. But anyways, let me give you some examples here. I'm on the Telecaster by uh, again. Um the main thing that's great about this Headbrush gig board, and yeah, the tones are great. The tones are, are super, uh, you know, I've mentioned this before. I've had the Helix. Uh, I've had all the analog pedals. You know, I've had, and I do still have, uh, two valve amps, um, you know, DSL uh, amplifiers from Marshall. Um, Bogner, and I gotta tell you, does this sound as good as the analog pedals with the um, tube amplifiers and all that? You know, obviously it doesn't. Anybody on the internet that will say, "Hey, you know, it's you know, you can't tell the difference," well, you can tell the difference. Um, but it's not bad. It's really not bad for what you're getting here. Um, everything. That's in here is, you know, the regular listener would not be able to tell. And when you put this on a mix to record or when you're live and you're running this through a PA or uh, uh, a full range speaker or whatever, whatever have you, it's going to be perfect. And look, the guitar player from Alabama also uses the full size gig board, which is the same processing power, the same effects, everything is just bigger. He uses the same thing for live shows. So if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us. Okay? So that's all I'm saying about that. Um, but, you know, all this stuff here on the touch screen is literally, it takes seconds to put it in. If you want to save a patch, um, and, you know, a lot of people don't mention this enough, but if I want to save a patch, you know, and I'm on the Helix or whatever, and I'm, I got to use the little toggle, you know, let me show you here. 
I got it when I want to save my name I got to use this little dial here and then go find the letter and then go find the letter and go find the letter that's 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 not anything here this is like using a phone like a tablet to uh, to save your tones okay uh, the name or whatever everything's right there on the touch screen we're all you know we're all great at using touch screens by now hopefully but uh that's the main thing about this unit is it gets you to the point immediately to start creating music and you know all the guys will tell you this and that about other units the helix or the especially the boss gt1000 uh these types of units the even the kemper the kemper is a different beast kind of altogether but this gets you immediately the tones you want on on the fly okay let me i want to change the amp amplifier right let me double click that let me go to this model bam bam okay changed changed just like that <laughs> I mean, it's it's perfect. It really is. And for any musician, uh, you know, that wants to get in immediately to start making video, I mean, music videos, uh, it's also good for that because it's easy to use to explain. But anyways, as soon as you want to get in and start making music, it's right here. Look, let's turn this off. I can assign this to... I can sign these buttons to any effect that I want. I can make one button do turn multiple things on and off. Um, it's man, look, I'm not getting paid by Head Rush. My channel is not big enough. I have 133 subscribers. Uh, I have 35,000 channel views. I'm nowhere near big enough. Okay, I've been playing guitar 16 years. I've played in bands. I've played live before, uh, a lot of shows, and carrying amps carrying analog pedals dialing in tones the the switches get moved around you have to tape uh you know put tape on your analog pedals with the the direction of where your settings were because things get bumped this doesn't happen here you just put this in a book bag you don't even need an amp in a cab if you don't want it but you know if if the show has a back line then just turn the cab sims off plug the thing into the amp and then run a line out to the PA and you're good to go. And all the settings that you were at home dialing in for an hour or so are right there on the device. So, I mean, you really can't beat this from a music making uh, standpoint. Um, now let's go ahead and go in here. Let's go, uh, let's type in, I kind of have the, uh, the camera here so it's kind of crazy to see but it's kind of a stretch so let's go heavy rock lead uh, I'm gonna discard the changes on that one so here's the heavy rock lead and I'm recorded this live so forgive me you know if it's kind of all over the place but I'm gonna go get my PRS and we're going to uh, do the heavy rock lead Automatically, you could tell this uh, this humbucker PRS is uh, already a lot hotter, and that's great. That's what we need. I'll just turn that volume down a little. I mean, I'm telling you right now, 
all you gotta do <laughs> seriously is plug this thing up put in the pedals put in the amp and you're ready to start making music and I'm still new to this device so like I said I'm gonna be putting more videos up uh, every time I learn something new or if I go and do a show uh, I'm gonna take it with me and then I'll record a video when I'm doing a live show or whatever just to show you that you know you can use this thing live um, it, I mean it, it's very simple it's very simple <laughs> try to clean things up a little bit let's go uh search i'm gonna type in bama that's one of the ones uh, i made uh studio clean should have probably kept the telecaster for this one Oh man, this is, this sounds really great. They got they actually have a Sweet Home Alabama one in here too, but I don't have the Telecaster anymore. But we'll go ahead and do it anymore, anyways. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> tune there but guess what got a tuner right here hold that down tuner comes Gonna be good enough. All right. Um. So if this video is more uh, for people, obviously, who have not bought this unit yet and who's thinking about buying the unit, um, I highly recommend it. As just a regular musician, uh, this video is not sponsored or anything. I just, as a guy who's toured, uh, you know, played in bands uh, live. Done a lot of gigs, done a lot of studio stuff. Um, it's it's really simple, and you know, I've always been the guy that's kind of like, ah, oh, touch screens. You know, screw a touch screen. I was always like against like, okay, um, <laughs> taking a tablet out and then remote control and all that stuff with other products. But this this touch screen right here is really really nice and it's very durable. And it feels nice, you know. You don't have to punch down on the screen to get it to respond. It's really just like using your uh, cell phone. It's really easy to push. Uh, it's really easy to dial tones in. If I want to move something around, it's super easy to do that. You just hold, drag, and drop. Uh, if I want to put this cabinet at the end here, I can do that. Uh, hold, drag, and drop. I mean, just on other devices alone, that takes you know. It could take up to a couple minutes, you know, maybe not that long, but a lot longer than what I just did. Uh, if I want to add a gate, let's put, let's go here, let's go dynamic EQ, let's go Dynacom compressor, default, okay. Let's, now that's there. If you want to change the settings, double tap, bam, you got all your settings right there. How easy is that? And if you want to fine tune whatever. Let me move my uh, video here. If you want to fine tune something, then you you know you highlight whatever you want. Then you can use this dial. 
you can really get down to the nitty gritty if you so need to do that. So, um, so if you haven't bought the device yet and you're thinking that, hey man, maybe uh, it's just, you know, it's just cheese or whatever, uh, it's not. It's, you know, it's, it's a great buy. That's a great product, and I really don't see, um, I haven't noticed anything wrong with it. Um, I'll just show you the load time real quick. So if I want to turn the device off, there's a button here in the back. Uh, let's discard the changes. It's powering off. All right, now the unit is off. Now let's power it on, and let's see how long it takes. So we got the load up menu there. I, I mean, I wish the pedals would look like it does on that load screen right there. That's awesome, but they don't. So we're in the loading screen now. And now we've loaded in to the patch, to the rig, that's what they call it. Oh, and I got my volume pedal on the floor here. A little cheap M audio, I think it was like 15 bucks maybe. Let's go ahead and put that uh, volume pedal on here. Expression, I can put a wah, I can put anything. I can put a, a, a harmonizer, I can put um, a whammy. For now I'll just do volume. And I like just going straight defaults because I'm trying to get straight into making something. And there's the volume pedal it works just fine everything looks and works great um, the lights you know if it's dark that's how it's gonna look on the stage when you're playing uh, very easy to see the lights are very helpful obviously but the screen itself is very easy to see still but in the show, you won't have to, uh, you will not have to be, you know, bending down and trying to tweak stuff because you hold this hands free. So I'm on stage, blah, 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 and I want to tweak something. I don't want to get down. That looks, you know, dumb. But here's the, uh, now you can tweak it. And you just hold one and two. And you can fine tune stuff right from stage. So you can go over here. Now this is my reverb. If I click this next one, I can take me to the next thing. This is the amp. Oh, my amp's too loud. The you know the sound guy says, hey, your amp's too loud, or you're getting you know too much over there. You can do all this. Uh, all all the different stuff. You just kind of can go through all this. You can even change you know. Anything you want to change, you can change it. And since I'm new to this machine, there we go. Hold the exit. All right. <laughs> but yeah, great device. Uh, I, you know, there's a thing in here. It can be confusing. The rigs, what they refer to as rigs, is what you actually do here on the touch screen. You know, your pedals, your amp setups, all that stuff. Uh, the scenes are what you can make to turn on and off multiple things. Uh, so if I go and hold number one and then I go stomp and then I go up here to the three dots, hardware assign. Right now, these four things right here are individual pedals or what have you, but if I click, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but let's see. You see where it like says spring reverb and all that so if I want to make this a scene I'll change it and I'll click this spring reverb here this and now I'm going to be oh you hit the toggle excuse me you hit toggle and then you're in scene mode then you edit 
And then you can turn on and off multiple things now with that scene once you program that. And then that whatever button you assigned it to will now turn on, let's say, your your boost, your tube screamer, and your reverb, and your delay on and off all at once by the touch of one button. Or you could just keep it old school and just, you know, straight uh, stomp boxes. So if you haven't bought the device yet, I would highly, highly recommend getting this over uh, the Helix, what do they call it, Stomp, I guess. You know, um, I would just because it depends, you know, if I guess if you if you wanted to just incorporate that to a big lot of pedals already, but I'm not trying to carry around a bunch of stuff anymore. But that's it for this video. Um, in the future, I will be making videos uh, going in this thing in details for the people who have already bought it. Uh, and we'll learn together. But if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. And thanks for watching, guys.